So welcome to our April Intermediate Sampler here at Close to Home in Southington. So you can begin to pick up your April kit on Friday, April 12th. Remember to bring in your completed March block before April 30th to get your April kit free, okay? Uh, the boys' birthday sale is still going on until Saturday, April 13th. Uh, fabrics will be 25% off, no minimum cut, and that includes jelly rolls, layer cakes, fat quarters wide backs. The 2024 Saturday sampler fabrics are excluded. Um, new classes are forming for the Mondo Bag, uh, Free mo Motion Quilting, the Mega Dream Bag, uh, Introduction to Bargello, the Little Star Shower Wall Hanging, we have a Kids Camp coming up this, this summer, uh, and much more is being added. Also, um, when you come in this weekend to pick up your kits, make sure you look for our stacks of Finish the Bowl at 50% off. So that's it for announcements. Let's get right into our block for April. Um, so what we're doing is a basket block. The um, interesting thing about this block, yes, it has a lot of half square triangles, which is not, not the problem. It has no lines that go all the way through it. So we will be doing a partial seam to connect the, uh, the two pieces together, uh, especially the base. We will be connecting this piece to the rest of the block as we make it. Uh, let's go over to the cutting instructions. There's a lot of cutting and it's a little, a little wonky. So um, we're gonna start with the white and what I need you to do is cut a two and a half inch strip right off the whole entire top of the white. What's remaining, you're gonna cut a four and seven eighth inch square and two two and a half by eight and a half inch rectangles from the white. On um, this one you will be drawing a, um, a line, a diagonal, drawing a diagonal line for our half square triangle. The peach, very large piece of peach, uh, it is a eight and seven eighth inch square that you will cut on the diagonal. We will be using one triangle. The other triangle, uh, all you have to do is cut a two and a half inch square out of the corner, then you can um, disregard or omit these uh, that last piece there. So two little pieces in that one. The deep red, uh, again, first thing you want to do from your um, kit fabric is a four and seven eighth inch square. Again, that's going to go with our half square triangle. Um, from the remaining rectangle, a two and a half inch strip across the top, and then two, two and seven eighth inch deep red squares. These two and seven eighth inch squares will be cut on the diagonal one time. And the directions do have all this um, if I don't um, pick it up uh, on the video here. Um, the yellow, we need a two and a half inch square. The remainder of your kit fabric is a two and a half by uh, whatever it is strip. Also the brick, two and a half by the length of the strip. Please, please, please uh, put Mary Ellen's Best Press on your kit fabrics. Uh, we have a lot of bias um, going on in pretty much every single one of these blocks except for the two rectangles. So um, starch it up really well before you go and cut your kits. All right, so here we go, let's get started. Um, the corner piece, the half square triangle, very simply, uh, we're gonna make our half square triangle um, and then we will add our two and a half inch square to the corner of the red, of the deep red. We're gonna add our folding uh, corner clipper in the corner, cut it, and sew a quarter of an inch down this side to flip out the yellow. All right, so this is the piece we need. So 
easy enough on the corner. We've done folded corner clipper. Um, a lot of this is done with the folded corner clipper. Um, mostly the um, the red and yellow strips. Uh, and what we've done with the yellow and red strips is we made half square triangles. We need five with the yellow and deep red. And all I did was just use my folded corner clipper on the strip and made five and sewed them for half square triangles. I did the same thing with the long strip of white and long strip of brick. Again, I need eight half square triangles and it, from the two and a half inch squares so again um, just like the red and yellow it's the same with the brick and the white it's a two and a half folded corner clipper to get our half square triangles and um, all we're going to do is sew our half square triangles uh, together in this manner. Uh, four of them are going to go in this direction and four of them are going to go in that direction. And I do believe I have the pressing information on the directions. Uh, this one is going to go that away to press away from the brick toward the yellow, toward the white and I believe this one is getting pressed this way uh, toward the white again. Alright? So we're going to hold on to those for a second until we get there. So those are those units and I really wanted to go over the partial seam with you. This this little section right here where I'm leaving a partial seam um, in this unit. So let's start by creating this triangle, this piece, and this piece. All right, so what I've done in the directions is I've uh, indicated to make your half square triangles, and these were my two and seven eighth inch um, squares that I cut on the diagonal once, and that gave me two of those. So when we're making these, uh, we want to make sure our yellow is on the left hand side, the deep red's on the bottom to the right, and we're going to take, just like the picture in the directions, we're going to take our um, half square of the deep red and we're going to put it right in the corner of this unit and we're going to sew right across. It's going to come through this little intersection, this little um, uh, V intersection where it junk, um, has this little indentation straight across and out this side. So we're going to do it for this one, again for this one, so all the way across, and this is two parts. So it doesn't matter which one I do first, so I'll do the bottom section, and again, when I have two 90 degree corners going on, I can match those very easily across here and I'm going to go ahead and sew that and here's my 90 and my 90 degrees it's like two corners of a square I'm just going to match those up right in the corner and stitch across there and again your stitch line should be in this little in uh, this little indent right here straight across out that indent and that will ensure that you have um, a really good quarter inch seam allowance so let me get those sewn and we'll come right back so give me a couple seconds to get these sewn and then I just want to show you how to put them together So this one, and out this way, and take this one, matching up the corner, and running it through. Make sure your raw edges are right on top of each other. So this one I'm just going to finger press real quick so I can get the top on. And this will be our corner piece. So we'll go ahead and sew this one. All 
All right, so let's press these and then we'll sew them together and I'll show you how um, to stop the, um, for the uh, partial seam. So a little bit of heat, try not to iron, just a little pressing. And again, everything's pressing in this direction, this way. So I have this one and I have this one. And then we have this one. All right. Okay, so let's sew these together into the to the corner unit. And this is kind of it's it's I call it the tricky part, but it's really it's not that tricky. <laughs> um these these two pieces are going to be sewn side by side, okay? Matching the point here to the point here. So we have this point and this point with our quarter of an inch seam allowances. So when I do this, I put a pin here and here and I make sure when I sew, the needle replaces that pin um, and you probably um, would be better off and you won't cut off your, um, your points all that much. So here's my pin. So I'm just gonna go through this little intersection right here. Just making sure I poke, poke my pin uh, at the bottom of that. Oops, sorry. There we go, close enough. Maybe I can come down just a tad. There we go, okay. Right in here, and then this one's going to meet right at the yellow, right there. So I'm gonna put these two pieces together because that's where my needle's gonna go. And again, you see I have a, um, a little bit of an intersection, a little bit of a divot right here where the dog ear comes out, and that's where you're gonna wanna sew, right between here and all the way down. Try not to flip your seams. And again, when you get to this pin, your needle is gonna be right here. You're gonna pull the pin out. You're gonna put the needle in and keep on sewing down to the edge. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, here's my pin. I'm just getting it ready. So when I get to this pin, Try not to flip my seam. Here's my pin. Getting up, I'm holding it to the side so I can control it. And I'm gonna pull it out right where uh, that intersection was. Match up my corners again and continue to sew my two, two units together. All right, so hopefully this matched up pretty decent. We have a nice little intersection right here, okay? Now, when we add this one, it's not gonna be right next to it, it's gonna be up a row. And so now we're gonna match this point again with, the, with that side, all right? When we sew these together, we're not only gonna match up these, but when we get about halfway into here, we're gonna stop and reverse. We're gonna stop our seam at this point and leave this open, okay? So I'll show you. Um, again, we need to put our little pin into the point just to match them up so they they match up, and then again, the pin into the point of the yellow. I'm just gonna turn these and match that. All right, and as you can see, I have my, my little jog up here, and I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch, take out my pin when I get to this um, intersection right here, this pin, and my needle's gonna replace it. But then I want to stop when I get about halfway down. So stop somewhere in here, okay? Little reminder for myself. All right, so let's go over. And I did back up a couple stitches just because I wanted to hold it in place. All right, so it's kind of tricky, but it's not, it's not horribly difficult. All right, so here I come down. Again, I'm getting close. I wanna take my pin, pull it to the side. 
like this. Make sure my seam is nice and flat underneath. As I get up to it, I'll pull out and look for my little stop line and then just back it up a couple stitches. That's all. All right. So here I stopped about halfway up my half square triangle. All right. And again, when I open, hopefully this meets up where I want it to. So what I'm going to do is press these open. This is a very odd shape, but hang in there. So we're going to press these open and then we're just going to go ahead and assemble the remainder of our block and then we're going to add the last corner. All right, so let me put this one aside and we have this one all, all sewn. So it's the same thing. I pressed my seams open. I added my 8 and 7 8 inch uh, half triangle here from my square and hitting all these points it was easier to sew from this side because I was able to see uh, where these points ended so I was um, as to not uh, trim off any of the points. And then we're just going to kind of go round robin. The first thing we want to do is add our two and a half inch square of peach to the top piece. We're going to sew this one here and then this one here. Okay, so we have that section. Then we're going to add our two eight and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangles. So once we get that on, we can go ahead and add the tops and the two sides. So we're left with this big hole, <laughs> the big corner. How do we gonna how we get this corner in here? Um, the first thing we want to do is sew it to the top piece. So I'm going to take my square that I made um, with my folded corner clipper, and I'm going to place it right here and sew across at a quarter of an inch. So let's go do that. Make sure it's all together. Okay. And as you see, I have the remainder of my Here's where I stop sewing. So it's easy enough to just join my corners and continue to sew the bottom of this square. Okay, flipped it. There we go. Don't flip your seams, which I do a lot. All right, so we have that. And then the last thing we're going to do is continue this seam. If you want to press that, I probably should press that first. I'll just finger press. And then we have um, our last seam to join all the way down from where we stopped. We're going to now continue. Okay, so two steps to put that corner in. We'll go up where we stopped. If you want, you can back up a little just to hold your stitch. And again, match your corners down here. And raw edges right on top of each other. We just finished up that partial seam that we had started earlier and now our block is is all finished. It's fun. You guys will love it. So um, if you have, again, any questions about it, um, please don't hesitate to come in and ask us questions. Um, Again, the kits will be ready this Friday, April 12th. Uh, come on in, make sure you do bring your March block finished so we can see it uh, to get your free kit. And again, you'll have until April 30th to do so. Um, thanks for watching. Have a great day.